Yolan True and welcome to another exciting day in our galaxy. Today I want to talk about the Corinar. The Corinar is the rare four-star Klingon ship. Looks a bit like a Burrell on speed, doesn't it? But it's a nice ship and it has some nice features. First of all, as I said, it's a rare four-star ship. That means you need a level 46 shipyard to build it. As you can see, I still don't have it on this server, but it doesn't matter. I will get there in time. And you need 350 blueprints to build it. So it's a lot to work on. But first, let's talk about the abilities. The general ship ability that's always on is Loot the Weak. That means the Corinar gains 10% more resources from hostiles. And that's always active and that's nice. But it has two more abilities that are not always active. That's ship cloaking. You know, cloaking devices with the Klingons is, is clear that they need that. And the relentless assault, which increases weapon damage against hostiles and armadas by 250%. But you need to unlock both. I will not go into details with those. Uh, also, that you have to pay every time when you use them. The cloak with Tatrions and the relentless assault with orbs. Those are topics for different videos when I talk about ship cloaking in general and Relentless Assault and the other abilities like that. Um, that will not be done in this video here. But the Corinar can have both if you unlock them and uh, they might come in handy. But the most important question is, should I build the Corinar and how do I get it? You will remember that with the three star um, rare ships, I told you not to build them because after you got the UC one, so the uncommon one, and uh, until you get the epic one, there's not such a big amount of time in between when you can go from, from uncommon to epic that I, that I said, don't build the three star rares. Um, they are taking up too many faction credits and too many resources. But knowing that it takes so much effort and materials and whatever to get to the higher levels, I will not say don't build them. It might be wise still to wait for the epic one, but it might take take longer than it did earlier. So if you want to have the Corinar or the Pelum or the USS Newton, just go for it. If you have fun with it, that's okay. And the Corinar is better, of course, than at the start already than the uncommon one, starting with my research level and everything with 12.7 million. And it is an Explorer. Explorer means it's strong against interceptors. That has to do with a combat triangle. If you don't know what that is, there is a video in one of my playlists about the combat triangle. And you really should know about this if you still don't. And... Um, I know that I have a lot of viewers that are just starting the game and that's why I mention those basic things over even in videos like this where I'm talking about the level 46 ship because they will definitely have a look here and I know even when you just started the game you will love to see ships that are not in your ship list even that you can't have a look at but that will come later in the game and the Corinar is one of them. So let's talk about how you can get the Corinar. First of all by grinding hostiles and for this you need to grind Klingon hostiles in um, systems level 49 to 60 and there my two videos come in where I tell you how you can hunt level 49 hostiles in Sol, Romulus and Kronos early on with the right crew because if you hunt hostiles in Kronos you have a chance to get Corinar blueprints. And um, I'm doing this with the Federation at the moment and I'm getting Kelvin blueprints every day. I have to grind a lot and I hate grinding because it's uh, so, so monotonous, but I'm still doing it because the rewards are good. I'm not only getting uh, Kelvin um, blueprints by grinding in Seoul, uh, I also get uh, Hydra blueprints even got more Hydra now than Kelvin and I'm, with both I'm close to building them. So this grinding helps and you can get Corinar blueprints in Kronos. Depends on your level. Um, when you're not on a higher level yet, 
and you already can kill hostiles there you it will still help you with getting you um in the federation enterprise blueprints for example for the for the epic uh, three star ship and uh, the same here with the d4 and, and chronos but you also of course as usual get uh, blueprints in the faction store in this case the klingon faction store because the coroner is the klingon rare four star ship and there you see it one costs 1450 klingon credits uh, i can build one uh, buy one again by the way so let's just do it but as you see you need 350 so it takes a little bit of time and of course as usual you can get coroner blueprints in the away team store I have my reputation high enough to have them here. What you can get in the away team store from the faction ships depends on your reputation with those factions. But my, mine is high enough with the Corina, so I can get it here. And you see it's 4,150 away team credits for one blueprint. And if I want to buy more at once, it's even more expensive. So this will just add on a bit, but will not be my main income for Corina blueprints on the long run. And there's one thing, um, I forgot when I talked about uh, the Pelum and the Newton. You also can get ship blueprints in the G4 Epic Armada exchange. You see that I can get Katinga, Valdor and Kelvin blueprints here and Hydra. But when I reach the level, the shipyard level, I will also be able to get uh, Newton blueprints here and Corina blueprints and so on. So those uh, epic exchanges, um, you will remember that from from the normal ones. Oh, I can uh, I have another two days until I go there again. There you get the Enterprise D four and um, the Augur. That that was what I was looking for. But I'm not there yet on this server, but um, I will get there. But these um, G4 Amada exchanges, they are quite expensive. And I didn't get so much nice, nice stuff there yet. I'm only doing this at all because of the rare Amada course I need for my Amada control center, to be honest. Because the rewards weren't that great. And they are so much more expensive than the uh, former exchanges, which I still can use, that I... I'm always thinking about before I use the G4 ones. They are not that nice. But nevertheless, the Corinar is definitely a nice ship. I'm going to build it as soon as I can. Although I already have the Katinga and the Valdor and will very soon have the Kelvin. But it will be a nice add-on, especially when the next incursion is up. And so a better ship always helps. And if you like my channel by the way please um, help a little bit here as well and subscribe to the channel then you won't miss the next video if you also click the little bell and if you like my videos please give them a thumbs up every time when you watch them and don't forget to comment if you want to add something to what i said about the ships the buildings the events whatever please leave a comment i'm always interested if you have questions or requests for videos I haven't done yet because I have a long list of, of to-do videos <laughs> that I'm working on after and after. And so if there's a topic you are very interested in at the moment, let me know. I might be um, getting up my list a bit higher, so to speak. And um, if you just want to say hi, that's fine too. I'm always happy to see your comments if you say hello. And let me know where, um, from what country you are, for example. I'm, I do know that I have viewers from all over the world already and I'm always interested where my viewers are coming from. So if you write a comment on that, that's fine too. I'm quite curious. And if you want to see something else right now, the next video is right here in the end screen. I'll see you there. I'll be back.